So in our AVL tree, we have our node class that we've seen how to construct. And we, of course, have a root pointer, and we have our current size so that we know how big the tree is um, in constant time. So we're going to have a constructor for our AVL tree class. And our constructor is just going to set root equal to null. And we're going to set current size equal to 0. OK. So there's our constructor for just our AVR class. Of course, one of the things we want to do first is we want to add something to our tree. So we're going to have an add method. So here's our add method. It doesn't return anything. It's just going to add something to the tree. And we're going to add an E object. OK? So of course, what we're going to do is initially, we're going to make a node, node E, node is new node. with the object. OK, so we've added that. Remember what we need to check. We need to check if we have an empty tree. So the, for the first thing that we add, if our tree is empty, then our root is null. So if root is null, then we need to go, and, uh, go ahead and add that node to be to set root to, to our new node. Add current size and we're done. So that's our first node that we add. If that's not the case, then what we need to do is we need to start at the root and we need to trickle down either left or right and figure out where to add the element where to add the element to our tree so if root's not if root's null we're going to add something as the root node we increment current size we return so we're out of there and we don't need to keep going if root's not null then we're going to add to a method that takes two objects, it takes two nodes. The first node is the position we're looking at, and then the second node is the node that we want to add. The reason that we do this is that we can then recursively call that add method and go through the tree, either left or right, and figure out where to add our correct node. 